Hello, my name is Nia Muda. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, please click the subscription button and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post tutorials like this. You're going to get access to a lot of videos that I've created. Okay, you can see, you can see, you can see. So go to the playlist and then you can check my playlist and see a lot of videos that I've created that you can enjoy. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to show you an application. It's a photo editing application that can do wonders. I mean, this photo editing application is very, very powerful. There are so many persons that don't know about it. Tell me in the comment if this is the first time you are knowing about this photo editor. It's called photo editor. Now, this is the interface of the application. It's called photo editor. So, tell me where you are watching from. And tell me if this is the first time you are hearing about photo editor and I'm going to walk you through a little some of the function of this photo editor basically is to edit photo but it's very very advanced and it's free you don't have to pay any subscription no monthly whatsoever it's all free on Google Play Store first thing you have is camera that is you want to snap camera smart uh, snap your picture directly and start editing it if you want to edit more than one picture at the same time, you can click on badge right here. Okay, but, but let me just let me start with gallery. Click on gallery, then click on select to get the image that you want to work on. So I want to get a square image first that I want to work on. I'm going to pixel up and I will get a square image. Um, let's get this. All right now, this is the image we're working on. If you look at the top over here these buttons this dimension here is telling you the dimension of this image okay that is a square you can see it's 3264 by 2000 so it's a square it's a perfect square okay okay then this here tells us how we can zoom in and zoom out so i can zoom in like this i can are you seeing that all right so 100 percent is so I can put it in 30% way where it was before. Alright, 30. Okay, that is it. This button here, this button here, this guy here stands for saves. So when you are done with all your editing, just click on that button to save your image, your photo. Then we have other functions here, save, backup, blah, blah, blah. But that's not what I'm going on uh, to show you today. Right here, we have a, a folder icon where you can get image from gallery. You can just the first, the first interface you saw, the same thing I see now, okay? All right, there's, there's built-in image picker, okay? We need uh, permission, blah, blah, blah. It's an inbuilt image picker that allows you to pick image from inside your phone also all right so let's come back this information icon will tell you more about your image it will tell you the name the file you are high it will tell you the file type it's a jpeg okay it will tell you the size okay it's going to tell you the file modification time the time that the file was modified you will see it today it was modified today you can see the time there everything you tell you tell you the image size okay you can see the size right it's going to tell you some other information like ICT profile tell you about the device the color space blah 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 everything is just there okay and after that you have this right here which is just going to make your zoom in your image or zoom out your image okay now let's go to the various tools the various tool in the menu so this is the menu and we have a lot of tools if I click on this now you're going to see all the tools so we have one we have cough we have um uh, sorry, we have color, we have curves, we have uh, levels, we have effect one, effect two, we have frame, we have correction, the noise, drawing, pixel, clone, plot art, uh, cut art, text, image, rotation, straighten, crop, crop free, resize. So these are the various tools that we have in the menu. Now we're going to work with uh, a few of them today. Then in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the other ones. So let's begin with color so color when you click on color you're going to see these functionality coming out you will see exposure you will see brightness you will see contrast 
click this area you will see more saturation temperature tint and you'll see hue so basically this is just the the color filters that helps you to filter the color so you can go over here let's see what exposure does you can see right this is what exposure does right right then this brightness you brighten or you darken it okay we have contrast you had more of it or you less of it okay then after you click this you have more saturation take out the color or add more make the color more saturated we have temperature right are you seeing that are you seeing the way we're editing this, this, this beautiful picture here so we have tint all right after after tint we have you that can change the color automatically so these are just what you've got in the color filters. That color menu, that's what you will see right there, okay? I, I take it back again. Now the next we're going to look at now is the curves. The curve basically is you want to remove all the red at once. You want to adjust all the blue at once and all the green at once. You can just click on red, for example, and then you take this up. That means you're adding red to the design. Or you take it down. That means you're remo removing all the red. If I take this down, I'm taking the red out. You can see the red there's no more red anymore so that is just what it does the same thing with the other green and the other blue right there okay so the next is levels now if you click on levels you're going to see input low gamma 1.0 and um, input sorry output low and output high so these are basically basic um functionalities that helps you to edit your image right when you are working that means you have to use your eyes to see the effect of what you are doing right to see the effect of what you are doing is is almost the same thing like the color filters but this one you have to be careful because you can damage your image if you don't know how to use it very well the next is effects and there are two types of the effect you have the effect one and the effect two now the first one is the effect one in the effect one you'll see a lot of functions just click on them and then it will give you the effects that you want so for example you have gamma you have brightness you have um, auto contrast all right just click on it and then you can adjust it okay you have uh, vibrance you click and then you adjust that's all you can see color balance um, you can see color balance here and uh, many of them all right um, color splash color replace Okay, so these are the effects. You can try your hands on them and see how you, you can work with them. You can see them there. They're very, very nice, powerful effect. It will just begin to make your image look very, very smooth and nice. The next effect, which is effect 2 right here, you can see, look at, take a look at this one because there are a lot of functionalities here. You can see flip horizontal. Do you see what happened? You can use this one to flip your design horizontal so where our design was like this before look at it it has it has been flipped okay or you can flip vertical or you can make it round okay All right you can create a mock-up here okay you can see you can create a mock-up here like this can be for a cd okay All right then we have also these reflections you can see the reflection of the image right so you can use this one to create a reflection for your image look at this this is mirror if you want to mirror your image are you seeing this you can move the lines all right you can see you can move the lines or you can put it in the middle <laughs> are you seeing that then this is mirror vertical notice this you can see that you can mirror vertical all right look at this so this this can be a very beautiful um effect for your design if you really know how to use it and this is trim offer you have stretch Right, basically to so stretch or compress your image. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing this? That's cool. Then we have the the the, the text skirts. Right, we have as perspective. Are you seeing this? All right, we've got fish eye. All right, fish eye. All right, so we have uh, underwater. 
on the water i see that i see the effect so and so on and there are so many of them so you just check on them and then see what you can do with them actually all right okay so for square square helps you to create a mock-up for your design like this are you seeing this it helps you to create a mock-up for your design are you seeing that look at this it gives you that blurry background with the original image behind like this very beautiful you can use to create mock-ups for your design yeah so the last we're going to be looking at today is the frame now for the frame we have a lot of it okay you have color right you have these you have these okay you can see this okay you can see this and many others okay but i want to show you one of it that you would really like if you want to do mock-up for probably you're doing mock-up for your daughter right and you want to show it to your client you can easily use this application to get it done in no time so i'm going to go to um, my phone memory i'm going to pick one of the jotters that i designed recently all right i'm going to pick this is the jotter all right so this is the jotter i will just go to frame now all right i'm going to frame and i will go to um spira okay spring notes are you seeing that i'm going to spring note and then bam it will give me the this this those period there okay and i will increase it to look like this and it's so real and uh, you don't you're not using data for this so sorry okay you use data it's just a little data actually so you see you can see how real it is are you seeing this you can see how real it is and then you can go ahead and save it and then you've gotten your mock-up very very simple all right so we have done some of them so uh, we're going to stop right here so when you are done just click on save and then you are good to go so for example i get this and then i just go to spirit and then increase the amount here and then i click on ok and then i click on save your image will be saved in different this is another beautiful thing about this application your image can be saved as a png it can be saved as a gif it can be saved as a a, a webp or as a PDF or etc. Meaning that the other functions. So when you want to save your image, you decide what you want to look like. You want to give it 100%. The size. You can even change the size here. Okay. Are you seeing that? This is the size. So for that quality, you're going to get it five megabytes approximately. And then the more the other information is here. So you save to gallery or you share or you sh save as. So I want to save to gallery. I click on that and then it's save. So we can go to our gallery now and see the image. So go to file, go to image. Where are you? Go to image, and you will see that the image has already been saved. Are you seeing it? This is beautiful, very very beautiful, very beautiful. All right. So this is Nia Buddha. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm giving you more tutorials on this particular application in order upload so i'm going to create a playlist for photo editor and this is going to be the video one there's going to be more videos on how to use photo editor subscribe and remember i ask you a question is this the first time of you hearing about this application i'd like to know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video